Good afternoon for everybody at this great pleasure to be here today. Uh, so I'll be talking about uh, longevity industry framework and about uh, commoditization of this industry because it's quite uh, essential to bring uh, without this commoditization there will be uh, no option how to bring big institutional investors from scale of trillions of dollars. And uh, this industry actually requires not billions, not hundreds of billions, but trillions. The knowledge group it, it is a consortium of for profit and non profit uh, organizations. Here we can see our investment financial vehicles. Here is a number of total more than uh, 10 specialized analytical subsidiaries, including the cage of agency, and a number of uh, non profit organizations. There is also a mind map for our organization. We are quite focused on applications of uh, advanced data science, mathematics, and visual terms in all our or majority of our products. Um, <coughs> Agency Agency was established in the UK in uh, 2013, 10 years ago, and uh, by the time we produced uh, the first industrial framework, uh, one regenerative medicine industry framework. And then, uh, since the time, we were producing a lot of uh, analytical reports on uh, many, many domains of uh, what could be named uh, now as longevity, some parts of the longevity industry. A lot of those reports, many of them, Part of them is uh, uh, open, uh, you can access them say, free of charge uh, way, so they are, many of them are open source. <laughs> um, we published a multiple report uh, the science of longevity and uh, the business of longevity in 2018, and uh, by the time we uh, actually designed uh, and formulated the framework uh, for longevity industry. For your awareness, this term longevity industry has started to be used only since the 2018. Uh, now it's a like common term, but previously, uh, most of the different uh, participants of this much broader industry they were naming this either anti aging or biotech, bio, biomedicine, health tech, regenerative, and so on and so forth. But <coughs> uh, when we are talking about human longevity, it's like much much more broader than just science or just medicine or just uh, financial side or because it includes science, medicine, uh, age tech, modern technology for elderly people. It includes also longevity governance, so uh, industrial, uh, national industrial problems on uh, modernization of healthcare system and also practice of preventive medicine. And then it also includes uh, longevity ethics because uh, this topic of uh, longevity Human life extension, it's uh, in some cases like uh, you know, having uh, different nuances, including, for example, that there's a uh, specific problem on a global scale which could be named ageism. It's like a discrimination of uh, rights of all people, on, in the, including uh, most developed countries, as the most developed, developed democracies. <coughs> the problem of ageism is quite present in the UK, for example. Based on that uh, research and that, uh, you know, uh, work on uh, formulating or defining the, the framework for the industry. Uh, I published this book, it was already three years ago, and now we already published uh, the second edition of this book because uh, the progress in the industry is uh, going uh, quite substantially. This is uh, the series of my books on the longevity topic, uh, some of them on uh, industrial uh, and some of them on medicine, practical longevity in terms of uh, practical life extension. <coughs> by Marx project and then uh, longevity financial industry uh, and uh, some, some other uh, topics. Uh, we profiled uh, using our AI yeah, algorithms the entire longevity industry, currently we are monitoring 50,000 companies, more than 10,000 uh, thematic investors, uh, and a lot of uh, different hubs, incubators, uh, different uh, government related agencies, so on and so forth. You can, you can uh, get access to all this information at this website, longevity.international. Uh, this uh, is actually not just database, it's a uh, platform, uh, quite comprehensive, so there's a lot of uh, information on many, many topics and angles, uh, including uh, quite advanced uh, longevity science. For example, there's also component on uh, longevity biomarkers ecosystem or aging uh, biomarkers. <laughs> We're also publishing uh, annual journal, longevity industry, 
защото а, властвам в спабъщите на Мейто, това за видеото, да приправим по релиз на New Edition на Мей, Too Far Dead Free. За да я мечен фуешко профайл лъжевите на Стрики на Израел, тогава я релизвам на New Edition, лъжевите на Стрики на Израел, Too Far Dead Free. This is how the industry in Israel looks like. Uh, you can get the access to this uh, random soul information actually at the platform uh, jvtisrael.info uh, There was quite substantial growth of you know, many many parameters in terms of quality, quality uh, of this uh, ecosystem in Israel for all these four years uh, So here's just kind of several you know, major components of the platform so There's uh, interactive uh, mind maps, so how comments and investors and uh, the other entities connected. There's also databases, uh, including project leaders, and many, many other, you know, let's say, I hope, useful things, uh, which will be useful for further growth of longevity and ecosystem in, in Israel. <coughs> uh, a deep knowledge group we are using, uh, uh, besides this open, uh, open source analysis, we are using. Uh, quite advanced AI-driven uh, analytical systems to profile, monitor and forecast uh, to extract patterns uh, in longevity industry on a global scale with some focus on uh, longevity investment activities and transactions including that we have already developed uh, AI-driven matching tools uh, so they are capable to match good longevity companies with good, good, good investments Uh, and also we are uh, now working on uh, M&A, Merging Acquisition Animation Tools, because in 2023, at least in UK, Europe and US, there will be much less uh, investment transaction, but quite a lot of uh, M&A transaction. <coughs> we are also uh, working uh, quite a lot on uh, specific uh, frameworks for specific domains of this industry, because uh, uh, these frameworks and uh, in a comprehensive way we are using them uh, as a basis for specific attachment uh, um, parsing and aggregation tools for, to, to absorb an AI-driven way uh, information and then also to optimize the structure and this information with the aim actually to extract patterns and, uh, because patterns is uh, the major, let's say, product of those uh, big data analytical systems. Uh, <coughs> one of the projects which I am supervising a bit more at the point group is uh, longevity uh, financial uh, industry as you can see of course we started with uh, production of uh, framework uh, we also produced quite a lot of uh, many of these uh, reports investment badges in the longevity industry so they were published over the last couple of years uh, you can find them uh, in open source way uh, at our website I'm planning to publish this book longevity financial industry in the next three four months so it will be actually about uh, commoditization of uh, longevity industry and how to accelerate and enhance uh, participation in this industry uh, not only venture investors but also big financial institutions including uh, health insurance companies including sovereign bond funds <coughs> just for your understanding uh, the scale of, of numbers which, which we are talking that uh, average size uh, healthcare focused insurance company in UK yes it will be between half trillion to up to one and a half trillion, there are several of them which are at the scale of two to three trillions of dollars. For healthcare insurance companies, extension of healthy period of life, extension of life and healthy period of life of their clients is uh, straightforward uh, beneficial for their business model. Whereas for example for pension funds, uh, it's like very dangerous when uh, life expectancy of their clients is increasing. <coughs> So that book will be about uh, commercialization of deep technology industry because longevity is the very forefront of so what will be named or you know, like there's such a uh, term uh, deep tech industry because for actual practical longevity, especially on that level, there, there is there will require quite a lot of additional, much more advanced knowledge compared uh, with just what will be named traditional by means. Mm -hmm. Longevity industry. So we can also, you know, profile the, the size of the industry uh, year ago it was 27 trillion and uh, we are seeing that it's like growing steadily. Uh, we also made assessment that uh, currently there are uh, 500 companies 
iš PAM3, šimtų kensirtės rejonų tuo žaitim, kuris vers fortų fazant kuris teišta, tas, kuris matli fortų fazant mačiūrt kamalis ir pėdėjus teišt. What we are doing in our work, the most group, part of it is actually focused on these companies, because if some of them will become public traded, that will mean that liquidity and efficiency of the longevity instrument, financial scale will increase significantly, that will mean that it will become more and more interesting for big institutional investors. For your awareness, probably informal, but nevertheless, the name it anti-longevity industry, anti-longevity financial industry. So there is a combined liabilities of pension funds on the scale of 100 trillion dollars and there's, in some assessment, it's like, it might be actually 120 trillion. So this is, this is the liabilities which were accumulated during the last probably 100 years by pension funds and uh, life expectancy in some countries is growing. Health last life expense is not growing very well. And this creates uh, for pension funds quite a significant problem. Uh, and we were also, you know, discussing uh, this topics at many conferences. For example, this, uh, this uh, biggest pension insurance company, special funds on the, in Europe. Uh, I was talking with this panel discussion in 2016 in London. Uh, we also were talking at the uh, Langevin Summit, which was kind of recognized within the World Economic Forum a year ago. Uh, we also organized Longevity Financial Club in London. Uh, so that club is mostly about uh, insure tech, uh, health and insure tech, uh, and uh, pension tech. <coughs> we established, uh, I'm bringing a couple of examples of uh, actual uh, practical projects which we implemented already. So this is end to end investor, investor platform for uh, tech startups and investors, and uh, a little bit more focused on longevity startups. Uh, this is uh, longevity banking card, longevity club card. So this is this card is uh, implemented in, in London. So it's like my banking card, but it's longevity card, and it's also going hand in hand with so-called club card. And we are also building a platform uh, as a kind of like a marketplace for health tech, longevity related products, services, uh, and many other things. <coughs> On the left. Uh, here are several uh, products uh, which were already implemented, so it's like already live, implemented over the last several years. On the right is uh, several projects which we are currently working on, including uh, Longevity Investment Bank and Longevity Thematic Stock Exchange. Uh, on the other hand, you can't take money there, so that's, that means that, uh, uh, you know, aiming to improve the uh, financial side of the industry, uh, to improve uh, structure of the industry. Uh, we at Technology Group, uh, all our major uh, top executives, so they're kind of a little bit more interesting besides uh, generating profit to extend their, their life and life of their, let's say, uh, and, you know, members of family. So over the last several years, we were monitoring profiling uh, companies and scientists for working on uh, aging and longevity biomarkers. As you can see, there were quite a lot already several years ago, and this field is uh, now like uh, exploding in say for the exponential ratio. I published this book uh, two year, one and a half years ago. I think now second edition will be required by Biomax of Human Longevity. Uh, so how how uh, data science should be used for actual practical life extension, on the other hand, uh, how it should be uh, and ought to be used for the risk uh, investments. In the sense that uh, do not invest into the companies which uh, cannot show actual evidence that something is uh, really working on their side. And so the only one way how to show should be longevity human biomarkers. <coughs> we are developing uh, projects and pro uh, products uh, which are tied to this uh, concept of digital avatars, so combination of all emulation of all uh, uh, biological, non-biological parameters. We are currently at the stage that are 2.0, uh, and actually, kind of like, uh, my personal agenda and uh, agenda of our organization uh, to help scientific community and also, you know, the industrial community to uh, achieve longevity state velocity by 2030. Do you think this is uh, possible?
Uh, and this is just for, uh, once again a beautiful mind map for our organization. Thank you very much for your attention.